Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to our Python series. In this video, we're going to be learning about functions. Functions are basically the essence of any programming language. They allow you to reuse your code more efficiently, and they save a lot of space and a lot of time in your code. For example, let's say we have a piece of code. Maybe it's a print statement. Maybe it's um, a for loop. You're running it multiple times. You have it at the top of your code. You have it in the middle of your code. You have it at the bottom of your code. Instead of doing that, what you do is you take that code, put it in a function, and then you call that function wherever you needed to call that code. Very simple, very straightforward, but its use case is widespread. So that's why guys, today we're gonna learn about functions. Now, how do we create a function? In Python, it's very straightforward. You type def, which is define, okay? And know how I'm typing in my hello world.py file and not in my console. Could I do this in my console? Sure, absolutely. But I wanna show you in the file because it's just a bit easier just a bit more fun to do. So go ahead and say def, and then your function name. So our first function is just gonna print out hello world. So I'm gonna call this hello world, and then at the end of every single function name, you have to put in two brackets, okay? This basically signifies that either it's an empty function, or you can pass in parameters into this sort of brackets area, and you can specify that the user must enter some parameters to call this function. Right now, our hello world, hello world function is just a print statement, so we don't have to pass in any parameters. So def hello world, call it. And now, here comes the code part. What code are we putting this function that's gonna be reused in multiple places? Well, for us, it's just gonna be print hello world, okay? So that's it, guys, that's our first function. Now, if I run this, nothing's gonna happen. There's no output. And the reason for this is because we're not calling a function. Creating a function is great. You know, you can create multiple functions, define as many as you want, but you still have to call them. The way you call functions is by saying, hello world, and then the brackets. This calls the function, which will in turn print out hello world. So go ahead and save this, and we get hello world. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and create a function that takes in the user's name and prints out hi, and then the user's name. So. In this case, define, I'm gonna call my function greeting. And then inside of these brackets, we need to specify the user's name. Now, if you're coming from Java or Swift or another programming language, you know that you have to specify the type of variable it is. Is it an int name? Is it a string name? Is it something else? Like what is the data type of this variable? But in Python, you don't have to specify anything. That's why Python is such an easy language. All you have to do is just say name, that's it. Python will take care of the rest. Now Python knows that we have to pass in a name in our greeting function. So hit colon print hi plus the name. I'm gonna go to put a space there and then an exclamation mark. Great. So that's it guys. That's your greeting function. And let's go ahead and call this. So greeting, but greeting now needs a name. So I'm gonna go ahead and say Avi, save this, run, and we get hi Avi at the bottom. Great job. Now, as a quick challenge for you guys, I want you to create an addition function. Pass in two numbers and print out the sum of those two numbers. Go ahead and pause this video, try it out. All right, hopefully you guys were able to do that. Again, very straightforward. Go ahead and say def add, and then in the brackets, you wanna specify num1 and num2. Remember, we don't have to specify any data type, anything, just the variable names. And then we're just gonna say print num1 plus num2. Awesome, let's go ahead and call our add function, let's say 10 and 15, output should be 25, and we get 25. Fantastic. So that's functions for you in a nutshell. And before I end this video, I wanna show you the return statement, what the return statement does in a function. So let's say that we had this add function, but instead of printing it out, I wanna store this value somewhere. So I'm gonna call this return add, okay? And instead of saying print num1 plus num2, I'm gonna return num1 plus num2. So you might be confused as to what exactly does the return statement do? Well, what it does is we can now associate this value, num1 plus num2, to a variable. And now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go ahead and associate this return to a variable. So I'm gonna call this sum, and sum is gonna be equal to return add of let's say 12 and 23 or 34. Let's go ahead and print out some and let's see what we get. So run this, 
when we get 46. Fantastic. So hopefully return makes sense to you guys. Return allows us to send back a value with our function. May, most functions, you may want to print something out. You may want to evaluate something. But once you evaluate that, you need to return back that value originally to wherever you call that function. And the way you do that is by calling the return statement. Note, if I say return num1 plus num2 here, and then I say print hello, okay? And if I run this, I'm not going to see hello. Because once Python encounters a return statement, it does not move on to the next code. After Python sees the return statement, it ends the function, goes back over here, returns the sum, which was 12 plus 34, 46, sum is now 46, and print hello never gets executed. So that's functions for you guys, okay? Again, functions are blocks of code that you throw in under a function and then you can reuse multiple times. To create a function, you use the def keyword, the function name, and then brackets in which you can pass in parameters. Remember, don't forget your colon, and then underneath the function, you have your various code. To call a function, you call the function name, plus the brackets and any parameters you might need. Awesome job guys, hopefully functions made sense. Yes, they're a bit complicated, but honestly, once you get them, you'll be using functions everywhere. Thanks for listening guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.